wrong it's wrong it's yeah. i mean today you need to start them today are you hearing me it's real they are lying it's a lie it's a lie if you listen to me and you listen to all these tips i'm about to give you in this video your senior year will be super easy <music> Welcome to my channel. My name is Chi. If you didn't already know, I am a senior in high school. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about the things I wish I knew before my senior year. So for today's video, I've made a list for you guys of everything that I think you need to know before your senior year. I've separated into four different categories. We have courses and grades, college applications, scholarships, and then everything else you need to know about your senior year in general. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on your post notifications so you're in tune for every other video that I post. And let's get straight into it. So the first category that we have is courses and grades. If you see me looking down, it's because my laptop is here and it has all my notes on it. So that's the reason why. First thing that we have is senioritis. Senioritis is real. It's real. Are you hearing me? It's real. Senioritis is basically when you start getting those college acceptances and you start figuring out that, oh, I actually am going to college. You stop doing your schoolwork for high school. That's wrong. It's wrong. It's wrong. It's wrong. It's wrong. You do not want to do that it can ruin you think about it if you stop doing your senior work and then you fail those classes you won't graduate that means you failed a grade that means you're gonna have to retake that grade you need to stay diligent with your work even though you might get those acceptances and those scholarships and you know that you're going to college you have to finish off strong finish your senior year off strong make sure those grades are a1 so that you can graduate in peace okay so next tip that i have is do not wait until your senior year to start joining those clubs to start taking those ap classes don't do it why would you do it because it's not going to show up on your college application majority of them won't show up on your college application you want to start taking those ap classes start joining those clubs your freshman year starting your freshman year sophomore year if you're late start right now join them right now that way it looks like you've been doing them for years on your college application because colleges want to see that you've been doing stuff since your freshman year they don't want to see that you just did it right there in your senior year starting your freshman year but joining those clubs joining those activities doing those ap classes it's better than just putting it all together in your senior year so the next tip that i have is do not do not i repeat do not take hard classes your senior year don't do it do not do it you do not want to do that that's the worst thing that you can do having those hard ap classes that you're taking on top of doing those college applications that you've never done before and you put them together you're just asking for stress don't do that it's terrible take easy classes take the classes that seem like fun so take pe take football i don't know take nice calming classes for your senior year that way the only stress that you have is on your college applications and not with your schoolwork if that makes any type of sense okay so the last thing i have about courses and grades is take dual enrollment classes instead of ap classes i know i've been saying ap classes in the rest of my tips but dual enrollment is better than ap classes why because it's easier to transfer credit from dual enrollment classes than ap classes ap classes you have to take a test you have to make a specific score for certain colleges dual enrollment classes you, your college credit gets transferred immediately they're the same thing dual enrollment classes still bring your weighted gpa up and ap classes do too Okay, so the next category that I have is college applications. The first thing that I have is applying to college while doing schoolwork is stressful. It's a mess. It will be a mess if you don't do it correctly. I didn't do it correctly and I was stressed out and I don't want you guys stressed out. So that's why I'm telling you. What you want to do is apply to colleges early. College applications usually open up August 1st to beginning of September. So apply then. You want to be finish with your college applications before you start off your senior year so they both don't combine and you don't get super stressed out. I learned that the hard way. I was stressed out finishing meeting deadlines for college applications while meeting my deadlines for my schoolwork and it stressed me out. I almost burned out. You don't want that for yourself. You want to finish your college applications that way your senior year and your schoolwork that you do in your senior year is easy peasy and you can graduate and then go on to college. Okay so the next tip I have is that you need to learn about the college application process. You need to ask peers that have graduated recently 
newbie that have just done the college application process ask them why it is so beneficial it is so helpful i know for me i'm the oldest in my family so i was the first one to go through that college application process and my parents didn't really understand so i asked my cousins that have been through it i even asked my next door neighbor my next door neighbor for help and it was so helpful for me it helped me when i started i did it and it was super easy for me it was easier than it would have been if i didn't ask for help okay so the next tip that i have is specifically for my junior if you're a junior and you're watching this video you need to listen up this is one of the most important things you need to hear your college essays you need to start them right now and not in two weeks not tomorrow i mean today you need to start them today why it is so important your essays are what makes and breaks your applications honestly your essays are the most important thing and why would you wait until the last minute to finish the most important part of your college application tell me you can write about anything my essay was the weirdest thing you could ever think of i will be making another video on specifically college applications so make sure you stay in tune but write your essay on anything literally they have a free response college essay they always do it every single year so you can write your college essay on anything and everything so write about your passions write about what you like to do what you like to eat even okay start your college essay now to help you in the long run so the last thing that i have for this topic is your counselor won't have all the answers for you you cannot rely solely on your counselor for all your questions you can't you have to ask other people so that means ask your family members so ask your parents ask your cousins ask your older siblings if you don't have siblings ask peers in your class ask people that just graduated ask them literally ask anybody and everybody you can even ask me my dms are always open my social media again will be in my description description box below you can ask me all your questions i can help you out if i don't know the answer i will find the answer for you i am here for you guys okay ask questions to everybody because you never know it might be a different answer every single time you want the correct answer and you want multiple opinions on that question that you ask so ask multiple people again my dms are always open you can always come to me even though it might take me a while i will always answer all of you guys questions if i don't know the answer again i will find it for you the next topic that I have is scholarships. Scholarships are one of the most important things when it comes to college because college is not free. Even though you had kindergarten all the way to high school that might have been free for you, college isn't. You pay thousands of dollars to go to college and some people don't have the money for it. I know I don't have the money for it, so I had to rely on scholarships. So my tip about scholarships is that you need to start scholarships ASAP. I don't care if you are in sixth grade all the way up to your senior year, you can start. Yes, I said sixth grade. You can start scholarships at any time. I know your counselors and your teachers may have been like, No, you should start your scholarships your senior year. You don't want the extra stress on you. Don't listen to them. They are lying. It's a lie. It's a lie. You can start scholarships at the age of eight. There are scholarships for eight-year-olds, okay? So you want to start scholarships now. Juniors, there are a lot of scholarships right now, full-ride tuition scholarships right now that are open that you can start applying to. I will be making a video soon specifically made for scholarships, where to find them, how to get them, who to ask, what you need for scholarships. I got y'all. So make sure you are subscribed, tune in because that video will be dropping soon, okay? But again, like I'm saying, scholarships, start them now. Um, Some websites to look at is FastWeb, uh, scholarships.com, ask your counselors they know scholarships local scholarships but again i will be making a video specifically on scholarships how to get that coin okay because college isn't cheap it isn't cheap at all hold on i need some water Guys, we are on the last category, which is your senior year in general. And this is basically my advice to all the incoming seniors of class of 2022. Make your senior year count. I know for me and my class, we don't have much. We can't do much because of the virus that's going on, but it might get better for you guys. I hope it get better for the future classes. Make your senior year count. Do not miss chances. It's your last year. If your friends are going all over the world you do not want to miss the chance to hang out with them one last time so make your senior year count so i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope it was helpful if you have any questions anything like that make sure to leave it down in the comments below make sure to follow me on my instagram twitter snapchat all of that you can ask me questions dm me that's totally fine make sure you are subscribed and you turn on your notifications so you can see my face next time and i will see you guys in the next video bye guys